In this video, I'm going to explain how you can have unlimited storage for your outposts in Starfield. One of the biggest factor of any Bethesda RPG is inventory management. They typically have a location in the game where there is limitless storage space, so you can leave all your valuables behind so you can continue to explore. In fact, I believe in almost all of them, the storage containers can hold as many as they want. So I know that in Fallout New Vegas, I would take one of the houses in the game and I would just make that my home and I would just store all of my stuff inside of a safe. I believe that the Elder Schools did the same thing and Fallout went even further where you can store all of your stuff in a workshop with unlimited storage. So Starfield is really the only game where you have to be really sure of what you're going to carry, whether it's on your character or on your ship. And while in the ship builder, you can tweak your ship to have additional storage for less mobility. But in the end, you still have a limited storage space for containers. And all of the containers that you can build at outposts also have limited storage. And as it stands, there is no container that you could just build on an outpost to dump all of the resources into. Eventually, you're going to fill up that case and you're going to have to build another one. And this kind of reminds me of a lot like other sandbox base building games like Minecraft or Valheim where every container has limited space and you need to kind of spread out your resources. Like for an example in Minecraft, you would probably just make a chest that would hold all of your wood and then one for all of your you know, concrete. I don't really play Minecraft, but I, I see, I feel like that's what they were trying to do with this one, which is nice, but that's not really what Bethesda fans are used to. And plus trying to keep track of all of your resources across a bunch of different outposts on different planets and different star systems. Uh, it could be annoying. The only location in the game where you have unlimited storage is at the lodge. There's a safe inside your room, as well as a small chest in the basement of the building. And you can use these as bulk storage for your resources. And if you want to make it easy to transport to other outposts, you need to build a base right behind the lodge. You can walk a short distance away and build an outpost link there. You get a great view of New Atlantis, as well as a means to transport those items quickly. Simply set up the link on two planets and then drop any resources from the lodge that you need for that other planet into the outgoing container. And in a few days, those resources are going to be at your new planet. You could do the inverse of this. If you have a lot of resources on that other planet, you can actually send all of your bulk items over to the new outpost in Atlantis. And then you could just move it over to the lodge where you have that bulk storage. So this isn't exactly a seamless way to transport the resources. The cargo link does take time to transport the items between the locations, depending on how far they are. I suggest placing a house and a bed right next to it. So that way you can sleep for a few days to ensure everything transfers quickly. I'm also sure that there's going to be mods in the future that are going to completely circumvent the wait time for the transfer of these materials. The only other way that I've found to ensure a fast transport between different outposts is to just leave your items in the lodge and then only pick up enough to allow fast travel so you're not over encumbered and then just move to the outpost. But I like to just pick everything up and go. So I find the way of building a base behind the lodge better and it's a little bit more immersive as well. And that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Uh, I like to set up a bunch of outposts on planets with a lot of resources I can set up extractors on. And then I'll send them all to New Atlantis where I'll do a lot of my crafting. I haven't truly done a bunch of base building as of yet. So I think once I build up enough resources on this playthrough, I'm going to give it more of a dive and see how deep the base building goes. Because what I've seen so far, it's a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. And I know a lot of people in the comments are probably going to tell me, oh, just drop the stuff on your ship. You can just drop as many as you want. I like to capture ships, so having everything disappear into my storage doesn't really make it seamless for me. And I find that kind of annoying. So you can do that if you like. But if you're like me and just want everything in one place, I think the lodge is the way to go. But anyways, go ahead and let me know in the comments if you already knew about this trick. I had seen a lot of users on Twitter who didn't even know that there was a safe inside the lodge that had unlimited storage. So for those of you who made it to this video who didn't know that, uh, that should help you out. Thank you all for checking out this video and I will see you in the next one.